Alright, welcome back to the Wine Showcase. Uh, it's John and Steve here again, and we have a very special wine uh, for you today. Could you tell us a little bit about this wine? Yeah, well, you know, John was with me when we went over to Costco, and here's the thing, is that you and I were wandering through the wine section and discovered this wine, and for the price that it was, do you remember how much it was? I can't pin the exact price, but I think it was like in the fifteen to twenty dollar range. Yeah, it was about yeah. I believe it was seventeen ninety nine. Oh, awesome! So we were gonna go ahead and get it. It was the two thousand six that we were gonna get. This right. time we have the two thousand five. And here's the interesting thing about this wine, is that it's a sixty five dollar bottle of wine, sixty five bucks, and they sold it to Costco, and they just took the excess supply that they had and shot it over there, and they've got so much that's left over, it's amazing. As you saw. Right, yeah, I, I saw you zap the website over to me, and I saw that was $65 on, on their website. And, yeah. And it was, yeah, it was definitely under $20 at Costco, so that's a, it could be a great find. Well, we'll see here in a second, right? After oh, we definitely, yeah. Test and it. I've had this before, and it's been incredible. I bought the bottle, the 2005, probably about, I don't know, maybe about uh, five, six months ago. Oh, cool. Now they're on to the 2006 vintage, which is pretty good uh, from what I've been reading. Uh, people have been saying, wow, what a what a bottle. And we will go ahead and get that bottle and, and try that. But we thought we'd go ahead and start with the, the 05 and give it a shot. Oh, nice. So compared to the other wines that we've tried, the Bennett Lane, the Parcel 41 we had in the past, um, price range, perfect for you to go and buy this, especially at Costco. So that's the place to get this. If you go online to the winery, um, I don't think the winery's there anymore since we just tried calling it a second ago. <laughs> yeah, you got we, some, someone's voicemail. It's on my yeah. cell phone. A little strange. <laughs> and maybe that's why Costco has the, uh, all, all, all the 2006. All the Interesting. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it and see what this oh. is all about. So here I am, the gentleman oh, pouring for the you, man sir. here. So. There we go, and I'll be a gentleman myself and just kind of put double the, no. <laughs> <laughs> or twice the amount. Yeah, twice the amount. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the nose. Let's do that yes. real quick and see what that's all that's about. Swirling going here. Mmm. Wow, that, that's incredible. This nose, I mean, if you were to go ahead and dunk your uh, face into Nestle's quick. Yeah, you know? nice. <laughs> I mean, it's got a strong sense of oak. Yeah, like it's got an oaky, uh, oaky thing going on there. It does. It really does. Oaky. Uh, it's got the. Uh, oh man, it's a dusty brown chocolate. If you think about that. Mm. This is an incredible wine. It really is. I mean, just the smell of it. Sometimes you could tell when when there's a good wine that's out there. Yeah. Just by the scent, mm -hmm. and if you get all the what we're getting here. I mean, you're talking about uh, the vanilla bean, and you know, I'm talking about the dark chocolate, and it's you already know it's going to be a good wine, and you yeah. don't. And some people will just say, you know, when they're sitting at a restaurant, okay, thank you. They're not going to anything. No, they're not going to. They're not even going to try it for the waiter, you know, to say is it okay or not. Right. And or you know. Is this acceptable? This is a totally. And acceptable. like you're saying, like um, I, I hate when not not all restaurants will do this, but like when they're pouring, the, like when they want you to like test it out, they'll give you a small little minute thing to test out. Yeah. And then when you say, oh, I guess that's okay, even though you can't like like you were saying before, you know, you want to get a good, you know, a, a, a straw, you know, a bit, you know, you want to get a big, uh, you can call it a gulp, I guess, you yeah. know, to really, or a mouthfeel, a yeah, mouthfeel, just, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, if you if you don't get that whole mouthfeel, I mean, you're not really gonna get get a, a like a good like sensation or a good taste of the wine. And then after they, you know, you get that little sample pour, then they like pour your glass completely full, which you don't want either. Yeah, but it, you know, it depends on on how you like it, though. Yeah. But what I'm saying about the restaurant and what I'm saying about the nose is that the nose will actually tell if it's this good, like it is. I put this this uh, glass down and just say, it's perfect. Because I already know what this is going to taste like. Nice. I mean, that's how good it is. So, for the seventeen ninety nine price range, let's give it a shot. All right. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. That's a wine. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Huh. I mean, there's. What are you tasting this? I mean, are, are you picking up anything? I mean. Oh no! Right away for me, I, I started. I picked up like some ch the cherries. 
Like cherries just smell. came right out. Yeah, it did. It? Yeah, you can uh, you can taste them even more than you can smell them. I think. Yeah. And it's fun, something because that was the very first flavor that I tasted was the cherries. Oh, no way. It just came right out. But then that goes along with what you're saying with uh, the vanilla bean. You know, it's kind of an oaky, oakiness that's there, too, mm -hmm. to go along with that. So you think oaky and cherries kind of go together. And oh, yeah, I think there's, they there's more red fruit to this than, you know, than the darker fruits. Right. Should we about. take another? Let's take another another sip on this. Well, go ahead. Okay. And, um, you know, I can just go on with, with this wine. I mean... It's it's amazing as far as the palate's concerned. The tannins not too bad, you know. It, it's a very light tannic wine, and it's balanced, really balanced. It's got a clean finish to it. You're probably mm. tasting that right now. Yeah, it's it's coming. Yep, it's coming along. It's it's very smooth. Yeah. And, and the acidity is uh, it's it's really low. It's there, so you get that little bit of a snap, but it's not overbearing. Right. Oh five. It, they may have it over there at Costco. You might go check and see. If they have the 06, grab it, okay? You, definitely, this is a wine to get, I mean, 65 bucks, uh, normal price, and it's at $17. It's a deal. You got to go for this it. This is a deal. At that price yeah. point, I mean, you got to pick up one or two bottles for sure. And that's all today for the Wine Showcase. Um, I'm John, and this is Steve, and today we tested the Luis Ochoa Family Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, vintage year 2005 and we'll see you next time.